Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial, but this one is quite different. Uh, this tutorial discussing the tool I made. Uh, it's it's actually not a tool, it's a couple of blueprints, but yeah, because it, this is how we ship tools right now. So it's a blueprint that works on saving. As you can see, it's called Easy Save and it's made of three, three blueprints and yeah, one icon or clipboard image. Uh, those three programs are all what you need to just quickly save and load your data. So if I play here, as you can see, this is a FPS example, uh, nothing fancy. So I'll be using this example to make my change. So first thing, you need to drag and drop this saving object inside your scene. This is all what you need to communicate and save easily and quickly. So after that, uh, you just position it to make sure it's <laughs> it looks nice and you can easily find it. So I'll be opening now the level blueprint. You can make this stuff with any other blueprint, just calling functions. So I'll open the level blueprint. But first, I need to make sure that my saving object is selected and right click and let's look for the call function from this object and it's called easy save object and I have only two functions easy save and easy save value and easy load value so I easy save a value um, when I press G save a value so now I have to set some attributes for this value like the key name which is the name of the file or the name of the value inside my logic itself the key type is the type of the value and the key value itself which, which is the value so I, I say I want to save my player name and let's save my name Muhammad and debuggable to be able to debug some messages see if they make sure that yeah it's already saving right now so let's let's say okay I want to load this value which I already saved so let's do the same process but now I select to load a value and let's make it with a different key mapping which is H so now if I press H, I should be loading. If I press G, I, uh, I should be saving. And saving the name, the player name, and loading the player name. So if I want to now to... Yeah, let's test. So if I press now to load, actually... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It loads my name actually because I already have this uh, saved previously. <laughs> the name the player name saved previously so let's let's go to my finder and let's remove the save file first it should be inside the project and inside the save directory yeah as you can see there's two files were here one for the player name one for the player sex so I removed both files and yeah now if I press G or H nothing happens nothing saved nothing load but if I press now I can save and now if I press H, I can load. I think distinguishing this with different colors will make sense, but, but yeah, let's, let's keep it as simple as possible. So now you can save different value types. Let's try with, with a different key. Let's say now I want to save an integer. And let's say save um, when I click, let's say you, when I press you, uh, let's save the um, player age. Let's save the age and this type of integer. And the value, call it uh, 28. Yeah, I'm sure I'm 28. And let's keep it debuggable as well. And let's map the loading for this value for another key. Let's say I, it's very close to you. And it's 945. Sorry for this. And let's say easy load value. And let's put the name H. And debuggle. See it in the console or see it in, on screen or wherever. So save, compile, and let's run again the game. But one thing before I run the game, I want to show you the save. It, now I have only the player name saving file. Let's play. Now if I click load, nothing to be loaded, but if I click save, there's nothing to be saved. Now if I click load, I can load the number. Again, it needs different colors. 
but yeah if now if i would open my finder i find the age saving file have been made <laughs> so i have two files right now you can make lots of files as much as you wish and yeah this is how to use this tool it saves your time if you remember the save and load tutorial I made previously once unreal was released and saving process was a mysterious i made a tutorial to cover this thing and actually this is the only method you can use with Unreal Engine Blueprints to save and load and it takes too long to save one value you, you have to make a huge uh, new tree to save those value as you can see this is a video feel free to watch it if you want to learn more but here is the screenshot for the graph it's huge imagine you, are, you want to save 10 values let's say in your game or 10 values in this level take too long so this tool I made this tool to, to help myself to be more productive save my time and I wish it be the same for you thanks for watching and enjoy see you